addition of the two newest kits in The Sims 4, we now have a pretty wide variety to choose from, each with different styles and aesthetics. And today we're gonna see if we can build two townhouses in opposite aesthetics in The Sims 4, with a heavy emphasis on the items from the kits. The aesthetics we're gonna be going for today are going to be a pastel core, focusing on the new pastel pop kit along with the everyday clutter kit, and the other side will be a more neutral only aesthetic, basically testing the ability of these kits to perform in very opposite styles while using similar items. So since we're building here in Brightchester today, I thought it would be really fun if we built this for university dorm building. So for our shell, we're gonna start off with one side and then basically copy it for the other. This is a small lot. We're on a 20 by 15 lot. So we're gonna go three stories up, but the houses are gonna be very narrow. Maybe we can do an extra balcony flooring piece right here, or we could even make it a little bit more interesting and do like a platform piece right there as the overhang. Because at the top, I think I'm gonna do a flat roof with a platform. So we're already thinking ahead of features we can combine to make this very cohesive. So we have that part of the building right there. I'm also gonna go in and start to do maybe one more block piece. And this is gonna be our shell that we're gonna copy and paste for the other side. So I'm just gonna take what I have here. We're gonna put two of these right there. We're gonna move this over slightly so we have a little more room. And I'm thinking with that part there, we could maybe do a rooftop patio. This lot is actually so pretty in Brightchester. I rarely build here, but we're surrounded by the river over there. We've got the purple trees in the buildings. So with the two of them combined, this is what our shell is looking like so far. So we're gonna get some wallpaper and I don't think I'm gonna limit myself for this entire build to do kits only. So for my wallpaper, I'm using this one here from the Desert Luxe kit with the Country Kitchen wallpaper. I also kind of want to do a kits only build challenge in the future, but I do know that we have some limitation when it comes to the kits and we're gonna touch a little bit more on that later. For those two balconies, I'm using the get together fencing. I'm also gonna use some get together foundation on the bottom. We do have this stone flooring we could use. This is also from the Desert Luxe kit. So I'm gonna put that probably all along my balconies here at the front and everything. I'm also gonna build out one more entryway right here. And for the other areas, I think I'm gonna bring this out a little bit more, but I wanna use this base game hedge to do the fencing for the bottom. And I think I'm gonna use it at the top for our rooftop patio. Actually, what if we went more with like a modern look and used these here? These are from the Perfect Patio Stuff Pack. I'm gonna line these along the bottom and that's where we're gonna have our fence. It's a small detail, but I really like that white like strip along the bottom on these. We're gonna use some snowy escape columns here to hold up our platforms. And for this structure of this thing, I don't want to have too many differences. I might go in and change the wallpaper, probably just to match a little bit more of like what the inside aesthetics are gonna look like. I want this to be realistic in the aspect that like if you moved into this thing in university, you would decorate it on your own. So when we get inside, that's gonna be the plan here. And I haven't used these kits yet. This is gonna be my first impression of both of them. And the best thing about these is that they are clutter kits. The Sims team created them in collaboration with Plumbella, who is a huge inspiration of mine. And I feel like she would know what the community would want in terms of like a clutter kit. I'm gonna add a couple more things here. We still need to do our front door. So I'm gonna use those ones there from Eco Lifestyle. And for the other doors up top, I'm gonna use these ones here from the Desert Luxe kit. Maybe we'll pick another glass door like this one from Dine Out on those balconies. And at the bottom, let's do this other door here from the Industrial Loft kit. We'll do some chimneys up here. And this is where the fun part is gonna come into play. We're gonna start to add our balcony furniture. And this is where we're really gonna have those opposite aesthetics coming into life. So let's start with the pastel side first. I think that's gonna be the left. I really wanna use these pretty new chairs here. They have tons of really fun swatches in here too. Let's go with the pink and orange. So we're gonna do two of those. I might put like a really funky rug out here. I saw one of them has a bunch of different fun swatches. Yeah, like this one here. I love all the cow print in here. And there's also checkers, which makes my heart very happy. We'll do the hanging plant on the side there from the Blooming Rooms kit. And maybe we could also put this table out here as well. We could put some kind of clutter on it. There are so many options in here. When I saw all of this clutter, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little overwhelmed <laughs> just because there's so much of it going on. And a lot of the items are really, really tiny. So we'll just put a few pieces of clutter out here. Maybe we can also add like a plant. So there we go. And then down at the bottom, I think I wanna put a skill item on this floor so we can do this colorful easel. I think I'm gonna do the one with paint on it. We can use this fun new table there. Maybe with a couple of these mugs that have been left out. Maybe down here, we could also use this chair here from the little campers kit with the matching table. So, so far there are our balconies for this sim. And then on this side, this is gonna be our more neutral, probably more athletic kind of sim because a lot of the clutter items we did get have like yoga mats in there, water bottles and headphones and stuff. So I think I'm gonna use some of this. So we're obviously gonna be putting a yoga mat here from Spade. That way your sims can actually practice their yoga out here. So there we 
go for this side. And then up top, let's try this lounger here from the Desert Luxe kit. Maybe with this plant here from the Blooming Rooms kit. That is one of my favorites to come of like all of the kits. <laughs> we'll do an industrial loft kit table over here. And I think the kits we're gonna see most often on this side are probably going to be like the industrial loft kit, the Desert Luxe kit, more of the neutral one. So I think it's gonna be really interesting to see like which styles we can do from two opposite extreme perspectives. All right, so with the landscaping and everything, this is what our house is looking like so far. I added this really cool wall feature here. Those are from Eco Lifestyle. And basically what I did was build a wall here and add these horizontal lines just on each side. And then I went in and deleted the wall. So it has this like fence effect. I thought it made it look a little bit more modern. I'm just replacing the lighting that I had with these industrial loft kit ones. There we go. And then up top for our balcony, what I did underneath this fencing was add some little campers kit lights there. We added some high school years tables with those new salt lamps from which kit was it? There were two and I feel like they're just combined into one. Okay, this one is from the pastel pop kit, which between the two, I'm definitely leaning towards that one is my favorite. I added a barbecue up here. This is from the desert luxe kit. And for the back and the sides, all I really did was go in with some plain like full glass windows. Very cute. I like the outside, but I really want to go inside so we can see these differences really pop. Pastel pop kit, you get it. Hello, it's editing Sid from the future. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. So I went back in after I finished this and actually changed the colors of the one side to match a little bit more of the pastel vibe. Very subtle change, but I really like how it turned out. I went in with this vampire's brick here in a blue swatch combined with eco lifestyle stone also in blue. All right, that's me from the future. Have a good day now. Bye. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go inside and for my layout, I kind of tried to figure this out already. It's just gonna be split down the middle for this floor. Up top here, we're gonna have two bigger bathrooms right there and I'm gonna have to put stairs and everything in each of these rooms. And I'm hoping that up top can be our bedroom. So you know we have to start over on the pastel side. We're gonna start off by getting some wallpaper, which I need to show you guys this wallpaper we got. It's so cute. So these both came with the pastel pop kit. We've got this one here with like cute strawberries and flowers on it. I can't wait to use this for like accent walls, kids rooms. I think it's so adorable. Then we also have this two-toned wallpaper, which I think I'll probably use a lot more for like regular living rooms and stuff. We're gonna be using this for the bottom floor here. I think I'm gonna use this pink and blue color. So we're gonna start over in this side. I wanna do a little seating area like right when you walk in. And we're gonna use these chairs here. These are from the Decor to the Max kit. It's hard like remembering all of the names of these lately. We're gonna combine it with this really adorable cracker rug. It literally looks like a wrist cracker, like especially this one here. Let's do a lamp in the corner. This is from the Blooming Rooms kit. I've already gone in and changed the lighting here. And I think I wanna put some curtains on this window. We also got this super cute heart mirror. I'm gonna put that right there. It has like keys and a purse hanging from it. We've got some hanging purse clutter. I'm gonna put right beside it. Oh, and this here, which I actually want to test this out and see if we can put the postcards from Debug on there. Oh my gosh, they pin right on there. That's so fun. I will never be using the regular base game cork board again. <laughs> All right, up top, I still have a little bit of room up here. We've got some higher walls on the bottom floor, so I'm gonna go in with these shelves. We're gonna fill this up with as much clutter up here as we can and then we're gonna move on to like the main area. Then for over on this side, we're gonna do that couch over there from high school years. Let's bring in another one of these rugs. Maybe we can do like this green and pink checker. I definitely wanna put up a couple of these pictures. Maybe I can do two different ones like going up the stairway. We'll do decor to the max coffee table right there. I wanna do maybe like a divider here. Like we could use this one here from the Blooming Rooms kit. We're gonna do this funky end table over to the side there. And for TVs, we don't really have a TV other than this projector here. This is why I didn't wanna limit myself today while trying these out. Also, when we get to like the bathroom stuff, I don't want to have to make like a weird bathroom just to compensate that we don't have bathroom stuff for kits. Which if I had to guess what was the next build kit coming our way, it's probably going to be a bathroom one. Just going by the fact that we don't have literally any bathroom items for kits. Okay, so so far this is what we got. And then on the other side, this is where we're going to put our kitchen. And kitchen stuff we're still actually pretty good with. Because of the country kitchen kit, we have a full selection here of kitchen stuff. So we're using this pastel blue oven and fridge combination. We're gonna do the matching counters here. I'm just gonna raise up our curtains a little bit so that they're not clipping. We've got our sink there. We'll get our smoke detector, our new trash can, which this one is so weird to me because we have that thing to like open the lid, but there's no lid actually on the trash can. So like that little step thing is kind of pointless being there, but I mean, it's cute. Then I think over here, this table is gonna match really well. This is from high school years. So we have our chairs over here. We can add some more clutter on top of the table. I 
love these rugs so much that I'm using them like any area that I can. So we're gonna add another one. We have these really cool new candles here, which I kind of want in real life. So that's gonna be our centerpiece right there. And with that, I think we are ready to move on to the next floor. So this is what our kitchen and living room are looking like for our pastel side. Super cute and fun. Definitely, I have a bias here. I love using color on this channel. Moving upstairs, I don't think I'm gonna do a bedroom up here. I think this might be a study area. There's still some really fun items that I wanna show you guys from this kit, including this one here. This is a new bookshelf that we got. Look at that flower detail on the side. Also, this really cool desk here. I love this one. I love the swatches that come with it. Maybe we'll do the purple and pink. We also got a gaming chair that we can put with like the heart back. I'm obsessed with this. Like I would literally have this in my office if I could find it. And for our rug, let's maybe do, let's do the cracker rug again. We're gonna do this lamp here from high school years, which I'm finding a lot of high school years stuff looks really good with these kits. They're kind of on like the trendier side of things too. So if you're someone who like really likes going with the trends in the kits, I would definitely recommend like the pastel kit with the high school years pack. We're gonna add some more of this stuff on here. Again, just going with like the pastels. Also adding some of the clutter in here. Then over on this side, I still have this whole area to work with. I think I'm gonna go and get another bookshelf to kind of like divide the room. So I'm gonna take this one here from Moschino. I find this to be a really great room divider. And then over on this side, we can do another seating area. So we're gonna put these right here. I love the cow print. I can't get over how freaking cute this is. Let's do the pink cow print. We're gonna combine it with this high school year's rug. We're gonna do some Blooming Rooms kit plants on the wall and maybe just some lighting going up the stairs. Okay, so this is what the second floor is looking like for our pastel house. I love this area over here. I changed the color of the lamp to like a hot pink. We've got all the clutter on the tables there, that very adorable bookshelf on the side. Just a casual seating area over here and we are ready to move on to the bathroom, which the bathroom, like I said, this is currently where we have the least amount of items for kits. We're still gonna go in and try and make it funky though. I wanna use this really decorative wallpaper from the decor to the max kit. Maybe we can also do some funky flooring like that. This is gonna be a very eclectic bathroom, I think. I'm kind of excited for it. So I'm building out this area here to make a shower. I'm gonna use different wallpaper for it. I'm just gonna do like a white for that shower. Curtains are gonna be these blue ones here from my wedding stories. And for our shower, I'm just gonna use these two doors from Spa Day and we're gonna do one of those like standalone showers like this one here from Discovery University. Our toilet can go over here in the corner. Then on this side, I think we could probably use some sinks from high school years. So we'll do two sinks right there. I'm gonna do some mirrors above that. Probably just those base game ones right there. We're gonna do these really tiny lights that I'm shrinking all the way down from bowling stuff. I'm also gonna put that over the toilet over here. And I'm actually just gonna change out the wallpaper in the shower with this base game brick. So we've got this really funky out there bathroom here. I love that wallpaper from Decor to the Max and I find it really hard to use sometimes, but I like how this one turned out. We are ready to move on to the final floor of this house, which is going to be the bedroom. And I'm so excited to use the bed upstairs from the new kit. Look how freaking cute this thing is. I love the sheets on it. There's like different swatches with the flowers on there too. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Going back to high school years again, we have this purple dresser, which is gonna match really nicely. We're gonna use these Decor to the Max mirrors on that wall there. Maybe again, we can use this funky little thing here. It reminds me of like, you know, the Rotten Tomatoes ratings thing. <laughs> it reminds me of that. There is actually some really cool shelving we got here too. Like this one right here, we're gonna put that on the side. Some more pictures here. We're gonna clutter up this dresser. There's also like this shoe clutter we can put on the floor. And I'm actually gonna go in with these decals and do like a small wallpaper feature. So I'm just gonna shrink those down, add a couple of these different floral like neon strip things. And there we go. That's gonna be our pastel bedroom for this side. I also need to add a couple things out on this balcony here. So I'm just gonna add maybe just do like a small seating area out there. We'll use a swatch of rug that I didn't get to use inside, but still love. Cool. Okay, we are ready to move on. Let's do the neutral side. So for the main room, I think I'm gonna use this dark brown base game flooring. And the wallpaper that we're gonna use, I think I might stick with like this country kitchen brick. And maybe we can do one wall feature with just like that one there from the Desert Lux kit. We could also maybe put that on this side here. I'm gonna try and do the same kind of seating area when you just walk in. So we'll use that rug there. Maybe with this shelving unit here from the Desert Lux kit. Like I said earlier, we're probably not gonna see as much of like the pastel kit in here. It's gonna be more of these ones that focus more on like a neutral style. We've got these coffee tables we can use. I'm gonna put that right in the middle. Already looking a lot more modern than the other one, more like sleek, clean, even though we're gonna clutter it up for sure. <laughs> we can use this couch here. This couch looks so comfortable to me. So we'll have that over by the window 
window. And in here, I think we're definitely going to be using these curtains here that I've been obsessed with. I also like to use these because we did get the curtain mount with it, like this here. So if we wanted to leave some of those curtains open, we could just add the mount in the middle and it still looks like it's all connected. We could put this over here from the Blooming Rooms kit. I also want to add one of these in here. I feel like this thing would be more like academic, maybe a little bit more focused on their work than the other sim next door is going to be. Maybe the other sim next door is the one who has all the parties and this one over here, even though they're probably hopefully still friends, maybe that can be their dynamic. Like left is the partier, this one is more focused. Although maybe they hate each other. Maybe they're absolutely not friends in this situation. <laughs> see, I really wanna see if I can bring in these checkered rugs. I don't know if this is gonna work. Let's try and see the other kitchen, like do the other side and see if that rug will still fit. We could do the cow one. That might be a little bit more like in this range. <laughs> okay, let's flip around we're gonna do, I think maybe like a dining table right here could fit. So we're gonna do a dining table here. This one's from the industrial loft kit. We're gonna pair it with those chairs there, I think. And then on this side, I mean, we could go in maybe with this here, again, from the country kitchen kit, but in a black swatch. And would it work if we did the black counters? Let's see, we'll bring them over to this side. See, the sink has that purple on there and I don't really wanna bring the purple into this. So maybe we'll just keep with the counters and I'll put my own sink on there, just like a metal one, like maybe. And then we can go in, I guess with this like panda trash can. I don't know, I'm kind of conflicted. I'm thinking like maybe we match that to the actual counters or just do the white and then I can go in with like some darker decor. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave my kitchen like this. You know, it's funny because the more I look at the cow rug, <laughs> the more I actually really like it, like especially from over here. I don't know, I think it's really cute combined with like this seating area over here. Very interesting. Let's go upstairs. I really like this brick down here. So I think I'm gonna continue that upstairs too. Maybe up here we can do like a lighter swatch of it and we can go darker with the furniture we add. So we do have a dark version of this desk here. With that, we're gonna do just a base game chair. We'll do the black swatch on the computer there. Maybe we can use this industrial loft kit plant, although I feel like that might be a little too colorful still. I deleted the big lights. I'm gonna go in again with those bowling stuff lights that we used. And we're gonna shrink them a little bit so they're over top of that desk. Then on this side, I wanna see if we have a black version of this. Ooh, we do. Okay, we're gonna squeeze that into the corner there so we're not really covering that window, adding some more clutter on this side. And I still have room for a couch over here. Maybe we can put a TV. Let's bring in the industrial loft kit couch here. We'll do the matching chair. We'll put a rug in the middle. Ooh, maybe we could go with this swatch here and we'll use a coffee table on this side. Again, industrial loft kit. And for our TV, we're gonna go again with that eco lifestyle debug one. We have a little bit of an awkward space under our stairs there. So I'm just gonna add some pillows with the idea that maybe your Sims could come and like grab them. Okay, so our neutral side over here, this is what we got so far. I like that we're still getting that cozy vibe in here. Sometimes I lean away from the neutrals because I find it's really hard to make it look cozy in my opinion. But with this, with like the browns thrown in there too, I feel like we're still achieving that. So let's move on to our bathroom. And I feel like we're gonna go with like the similar kind of idea in here. Wallpaper is gonna be desert luxe. I think I'm gonna do the same thing with the flooring. Maybe something like that could look nice. I don't think I'm gonna do the same thing with the shower, but I really think a bathtub in here could look really nice, especially, yeah, this one here for seasons. We'll do that there. Again, no kit stuff for the bathrooms, unfortunately. So we'll do the fitness stuff sink there. Some vintage glamour mirrors. Our towels, I'm actually going to have them like on the side of the mirror here. Our toilet, I'm just going to do a base game toilet over on this side and underneath here. I think I'm going to put a couple of these underneath the bathtub here from Spot A. I'm going to do that plant in the corner there from the industrial loft kit. And this is so far what our bathroom is looking like. I could probably put another plant over here in this corner too. So maybe we'll just stick this one in here from cottage living. All right, so up to the final floor here, we are gonna do the bedroom. I wanna see, do we have, ooh, okay, maybe we can get away with this here. We can use this dark swatch here for that mirror with the heart on it. This has been really interesting to see to me. It's almost like an experiment. Like we're really using similar items here, but getting a very different vibe on each side. I think it's been really cool to see which packs work the best in which styles here. I actually haven't used this here yet. So maybe we could go in with this from the industrial loft kit. We'll do the mirror over on this side from high school years. And for our dresser, I was actually thinking of using this here from Werewolves. Again, we'll get some clutter on here. We'll do a chair over on this side here. And actually, I still need to bring some out here as well. So maybe we'll just do like a couple of these chairs, similar to what we did on the balcony of the other one. And I think this is how we're going to leave our neutral bedroom over here. I love how this turned out. It was really fun to try and use these in different styles than obviously the pastel kit was meant for. Overall, I did really enjoy these kits. I think the pastel pop one is definitely my favorite by far. The everyday clutter one though, kind of fallen short for me a little bit. 
I do enjoy like some of this stuff, like the makeup here and everything. But in terms of like the boxes, like the clutter boxes and everything, I don't know. Let me know which one you guys liked the best here. I also want to know what you guys are thinking about these kits. Do you like them? Do they fall short for you? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.